I'm Charlotte, Charlotte So Natural here in Newton, Kansas, and welcome to Wisdom Wednesday. Um, I think I missed a couple of weeks, but I have been doing all kinds of things, including making this reversible table runner. And it occurred to me that I had featured quite a few of the things in Wisdom Wednesday that I used while making this reversible table runner. So this is a pattern by Karen Montgomery from called the Reversible Table Runner 2. And it is done part by part so that you're sewing strips together and then sandwiching strips of batting inside the strips of fabric and then doing the quilting. So when you're doing this, you need to mark the quilting lines. Here it is one inch from the seam line and another from the seam line. And so on this side, I needed a, a light pencil. So in this case, I used a white, disappearing white marking pen from Clover. I also have a yellow uh, pencil at home that works sometimes. And this is a wonderful sew line trio of colors. It actually has three colors of chalk in it. And um, it has white, black, and pink in one pen. This is the friction pen, which I used when I got to the light colored fabric. So I was marking on each one and quilting as I went. It's a quilt as you go project. So that fab that um, called for a little bit heavier thread than I normally use because I wanted the quilting to show up here. So this is a 50 weight thread. I know I've talked a lot about the 60 weight thread that I use for piecing because that seems to help me get a more accurate scant quarter inch seam allowance. So again, the threads are important in that you should know when to use them. This is also a good example of the binding. So this is a reversible table runner. I wanted a nice dark binding um, here, but on this side, I decided I wanted to highlight that edge with a brighter color. So I did the technique that um, is out there that's a flange, really kind of a fake flange, and you cut the one side wider than the other. You can see the green is wider. Once you sew that together, I had just a little scrap left, but this will show you. Um, once you sew those two pieces together, and then you iron the edges even, you have a little flange, which allows you to stitch in that flange. But in this case, I stitched it to this side and I wrapped it around and then I top stitched or in the ditch here and was able to catch that green flange. And I did that using clear, actually smoke colored nylon thread that really doesn't show. So it doesn't, didn't show either place. So if my stitching wasn't perfectly straight here, and I don't think the camera can hardly even catch this up, but here it is showing there, and then it's closer down here and not showing. So the way I helped that along was by applying some glue, and the Roxanne's glue is perfect for that. This is an easy squeeze bottle, so you can just apply that glue, and then I just finish it down with ironing, and then that helps so that when I'm stitching from this side, it's all um, held tight while I'm stitching. And again, stitching um, with the clear nylon thread, it's good to know that there's a very fine, very sharp point Microtex needle available for that, because right here I'm stitching through a lot of layers plus maybe some glue. So to know that there's a chrome Microtex size eight or size 60 needle available is another very handy piece of information. And lastly, this is my favorite um, cut right bind up. This is the way that you can put your binding together so that as you look at this, there's no lump, there's nowhere to see where that binding was joined. It just has a normal seam in the process and that's done with this. So again, if you know about the right tools and you know about the right products, sometimes your project is a lot faster and easier to accomplish. So hopefully this Wisdom Wednesday was helpful and you might Go back in our um, YouTube archives and see where I've talked about particular things and um, look up some tutorials also or just comment in our comments and if you would like to see a little bit something more in depth let me know and be glad to do that. Thanks have a great day!